Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the Master Nightfall Warden of Nothing. Now as you can see I'm doing it on Solar Hunter. Uh, I've got a full set of incandescent armor on which I believe is the Solstice of Heroes armor. Uh, you need it for one of the Triumphs to guild. You either do three night Master Nightfalls or a dungeon. Uh, I actually believe if you win three rounds of Trials it, it, it does it as well. So all the fragments aspects that and, and mods that i'm using are in the video uh, you can see them all on screen right now uh, i apologize for my lack of uploads recently uh, you can probably still hear it in my voice i'm just getting over a chest infection and um, before that i was at disneyland paris for a week which was awful but enough enough about that candescent armor not incandescent as you can see i've got a pretty nice triple hundred build there i uh, can actually change mods and get it triple hundred with 95 strength but uh the triple hundred is a working build so the main weapon i'm going to be using is sky burners because it's solar and uh it fits one of the champion profiles obviously unstoppable there are all three champions in here i'm dealing with overload with the grenades so i'm going to use classy restoration to get the overload to come close to me so that he can't kill me and then uh use the grenade to stop him now it's what's important about the grenade you'll see me do it here i'm just going to skip all the way up here what's important about the grenade is you want to stick the enemy i'm 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 using fusion grenade you want to stick the overload with the grenade when he's not teleporting for some reason if he's teleporting it can play with your uh it can mess about with your uh uh ability to stun him you see there i'll just reproc and we'll get a couple of shots on him there, and then I can finish him. Now, again, uh, and you pro it's probably probably well noticeable there. It really isn't. They, they said they fixed the solar needs, which is why I wanted to use them in here. But it really doesn't feel like they've done a done a great job with fixing them. And the reason the reason for that is, I, I honestly can't tell you why. What why why it's not working the way that it should work. All I can tell you is they are stopping the un the, the overloads. There's if you've got what I've got on uh you won't get the explosion. If you get the explosion, the mod that gives you the explosion for stopping a champion, uh it get, it's more of a visual kind of you know, you can see the explosion on the champion that tells you that you've got the the, the stop. But it's just it's just pretty unfortunate that that uh, that the solar grenade thing doesn't work so well. I I, I was going to do this on the warlock and use uh, use the boots so that it makes any and all weapons uh, unstop uh, overload weapons if you put down the power room rift. But uh, I'll I'll maybe, I'll maybe give that a go next time it comes around. So as you can see there, I'm using the cataclysmic. It has uh, four times the charm bait, bait and switch. If you do don't have that, then you guys know me. I'm I forget the names of the weapons really quickly. Uh, the linear fusion rifle from Season of the Hunt. It, it's solar, and if you've got that, that the the only kind of damage perk I think it comes with is high impact reserves. Then you could probably use that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the sparrow thing. I actually got a really cool clip of heavy dropping down onto the tracks and me playing chicken with one of the one of the trains to get the heavy. But that if you wait for the outside train, if you go up after the the right hand side train's gone, then it normally puts you in a really good position to just to just dodge left, right, left, right. So again, we're gonna stop the champion and then we're gonna use our four times the charm. As long as I hit four shots, I'll get two back. So I'm basically only using two to take down the unstoppable. The reason I went with the grenade for overload is because there literally is what, like three overloads that you have to kill. It's the least amount of champions, I think. I think there's four or five unstoppables, maybe more than that, actually. Uh, and I didn't fancy doing, I know people are doing the thing where they're not bothering uh, with champion mods for the unstoppables. I just wanted to make sure I could cover all the champions. Uh, and that, that takes us up to this next room. In this, in this next room we're going to have a couple of, couple of barrier champions. 
and then we're going to have our first mini boss which is the 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 the, the, the big minotaur uh, really easy to take down especially if you're using uh, blade barrage so once you get to here if, uh, to take this uh, hydro don't go up to the stairs that brings all the enemies in just kind of stand on this box the hydro will not shoot at you if you're up here and you can just take that that uh, hydra down at will and when when you go up here i always i, I focus on one of the champions first so we'll try and get a couple of couple of hits my pulse rifle has adaptive munitions which is great uh there we go that's that champion down it's 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 great if uh for for a couple of things adaptive munitions obviously work well against uh shields that that you you're not matching but they also work really well against champions so it works burst after burst each burst does more damage than the first and if you if you watch when we're taking down a champion you will see that you see how the the, the first burst was okay but the second burst like really almost I, I used this exact same setup in the Proven Grounds uh, GM. I actually started that GM like just before I went away on holiday. I was doing it live on stream. It, the loadout seems to be pretty good because I've seen a few people have copied it, <laughs> which is pretty cool. You know, imitation is the highest form of flattery, they say. Uh, but uh, yeah, so so that's the two champions taken down. Now, it's, listen, this isn't exact science. I'm just going to tell you what I've seen in here. To get the boss to come out, I've if you push up, I could probably do it, but I don't like to push up too high. I've noticed that from here, if I take out the majority of the goblins, that gets the boss to come out. You'll see a little diamond appear. There we go. Now that's the boss going to appear. The mini boss, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit him with throwing knives. And that just that gets my radiance. I don't need the radiance. The... The Blade Barrage itself will take him out. Now, there are three sets of modifiers that rotate during the week. And I think for this one, the first one is... Uh, abilities don't come back as fast. The base is... If, you know, if you damage enemies from range, you get a modifier. But the base re recharge of your abilities is longer. Uh, and then there's one if you slide... You deal more damage after you slide or something. The other one is you burn enemies. There's three sets of modifiers that I've noticed that rotate during the week. So I think this one... I can't remember which one this is. Is this? I think this is the base uh, of my... Well, I'll find out. Maybe it's not. Maybe they burn. Is, it, is this one they burn? Yeah, because I'm noticing... When it's the one where your, your abilities... The, the base of your abilities takes longer. You get this... Uh, Modifier on the left hand side, it can go up to 32, I think, or 38 or something. Uh, so, it, sometimes it's not always beneficial to do... Uh, it's not always beneficial to uh, to do all, all your nightfalls on the first day they come out. Sometimes it's better to wait for the more beneficial modifier to be there. Uh, you, these enemies here, as long as you're going for platinum... Obviously, it's double nightfall rewards this week. If you're going for platinum, then it's pro you don't you don't expressly have to take out all of the enemies. Just the champions to get platinum will get you your top level rewards. Like I say, this is the loadout that I, I ran this on a couple of weeks ago. Same as the Proven Grounds, which I'll be uploading after this. The solo GM on the Proven Grounds. That was a long one because I didn't use classy restoration. I didn't use solar, so it took me. It was still faster, I think, than the way people were doing it with before Classy Restoration. But uh, I reckon if I'd have ran Classy Restoration, we could have knocked at least 10, maybe 20 minutes off it. But because I was using Invis to be safe, uh, it felt like it was it felt like it was quite long. But the loadout I'm using now was the exact loadout I used for the for that solo GM. So I hope when I when I upload that, you guys will enjoy that as well. When we get to this area, this is probably the only area that takes, you know, where it's, it seemed to me, I bumped my head off that and it stopped me mantle it. It seemed to me like this was quite considerably, you know, quite a bit easier than it's been before. But I, I read, it almost seems like all the GMs I've, and all the masters I've done so far this season have felt easier than they did before. 
So what I'm going to try and do, I've took the unstoppable. Now, it's worthwhile noting that when, when you're doing this, and, and it's, it works the same with any champions, uh, when you're doing these sorts of nightfalls or whatever, you see there, I'm getting hit. I don't actually know what was hitting me. When you're doing these sorts of nightfalls, uh, it's worthwhile taking into consideration. Yeah, as you can see there, I'm burning. And so I'm just going to kind of save myself time there. I've, I've got my dodge. I'm going to I'm gonna forget about the overload, believe it or not. So now I get the overload to come at me. He'll melee. I can stick him, which will stop him most of the time. There we go. And now I can finish him. No, I can't. That's that that is that's the problem that I was I was talking about. Uh, you see there, I'm I'm just moving away. I, I'm trying to get up high. The problem I was talking about is that even though I'm just going to try and take this champion here, even though I've got uh, overload uh, overload. Uh, Grenade on. Even though I've got overload grenade on, still I'm going to see if there's any heavy here. Heavy would really help. There we go. Get my, get my dodge on. Get this reloaded. Get him right up to melee me, and then stick him with a grenade. And then I've I've thrown. I threw my melee at him. There we go. Even though I've got overload grenade on, it's for some reason it just doesn't work. It doesn't work consistently, which is annoying. Why have the mod? And it's. I'm going to be honest, it, on Solar, it's never been good. The only time Overload Grenade was good was on Void. And probably because when it was on Void, uh, the grenade was more powerful. So I'm going to use, just to try and save a bit of heavy, I'm going to use the, the Scorch Cannon to take do a heap of damage on this, uh, this uh, Barrier Goblin. So... Let's, let's talk a little bit about what I'm doing here because it works the same way all the time. I'm just going to take out this unstoppable. There we go and get the two shots back. When you clear the enemies and now the mines are up, the initial A will come up. A has a one minute timer. You do not have to get on the middle, like A, you don't have to get on that mine until, I mean, you've got 60 seconds to get on the main. If you got on the main and there was one second, as long as you didn't get off the main, be fine. Because the time, as you can see, it stopped at 14. Once you capture that, the other two will come up. Now, the way I like to do it is, and you'll see here, the way I like to do it is, I'm just going to dodge, get my classy on, just try and break this, this uh, Minotaur shield with see there because you've got the burn going on I'll get my dodge back on kill these because I had the burn going on it went through the shield now I come to see normally first the reason why is because the only th only thing I'm going to have any issues with in this area is that void minotaur now sometimes most of the time the void minotaur will go down the back and and he'll he'll take out go, he'll start fighting with the void shielded incendiary. And you can come here now. There is an overload, so we've took the barrier and the unstoppable in this area. As long as you don't do any damage to the overload, you will still get platinum for not like as you can see we never touched that overload. We will still get platinum at the end. So, that, that's very simply dealt with this area. Uh, like I say, the first mine, you've got 60 seconds to get on it. Uh, so I take out uh, the, the barrier and the unstoppable before I get on the mine. And that's that's all good there. And then I, I go over to C, because that void shielded minotaur is the only other thing in this area that's really going to cause us any damage. And most of the time, he will be engaged in battle with, with the... The void shielded incendiary, and then I come over uh, and take 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 the last one. 
Then it brings out the boss. So what I'm doing here, I'm clearing the ads, but I'm, I'm trying to get some heavy. I'm not, because of the way we're going to deal with the boss, I'm not really going to need a ton of heavy, but better safe than sorry. So what I'm doing is I'm just, we're going to get another wave of ads, which is all good. So I'm just, what I'm doing is hit firing, because when you hit fire the sky burners, when you fire at uh, ADS, you, you, it's easier to hit crit, crits, obviously, but when you... Uh, so when you ADS, it's easier to hit crits. When you hit fire, the explosion is is uh, bigger uh, off the shots, and you do burn damage. So if you can hit enough shots, you see there, it's really annoying because, I mean, it was, we took the boss down, and that's all we really wanted to do, the mini boss, but the damage is so inconsistent that you can't plan for anything because that boss died from one shot when he still had about a tenth of his health left. And what I think sometimes is, with these rotating modifiers, the game catches up on itself. You're doing more damage than the game knows or thinks that you should do. So it kind of, oh, no, it's it's these. And then it adds, well, I managed to finish an overload. If you look back at this run, not, not the overload. I think it was the first overload. I finished the overload when he had half his health left. Now... Another thing is, sometimes you get to the bottom of here, and you go down the left, and there's no champions. And if that happens, you've got to wipe, and it puts you back here, and then the champions will be there. The way I've, I've seen to get around that, if you get this diamond, you see that grey and white diamond above the chest? If you get that diamond, that pretty much means you, you've got the champions. And the way, you do, way I do that is... I make sure I hit each platform on the way down the long drop. And by the time I get down, the the commentary stopped. So I'm guaranteed just about that I'm going to get these four champions. Now, I used to have a bit of a complaint with the champions. They've 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 went some way, I think, since, since those days. I remember the first time I got here on Master and I was like, are you kidding me? It's like four champions down here. Now, I, I started to say in the last room, about when you get there and there's multiple champions, it's worth knowing, but I, I got sidetracked talking about something else. It's worth knowing what enemies you're fighting against, right? So here you have two Vex, two Gabal. If you're taking out multiple champions, it is worthwhile taking out a Vex, a Cabal, a Vex, and a Cabal, or vice versa. Don't take out the one enemy type, you know, all in one go. So that's a Vex, so the next one we should be taking out is a Cabal. And you see me here, stopping the Cabal. Because as long as you leave a Vex and a Cabal up, they'll still fight each other. The minute you take down the, 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 the opposition to, a, to, to an enemy type. So if I took both the Cabal, the Vex would then focus on me, I'm the only other enemy to fight. So now what we want to do is, we know we've got that big Cabal uh, barrier. That's what we want. We want to show this overload us. So watch out for the barrier because he it will, it, he will still look at you even though you know there's, an, there's a Vex. Now we can take the barrier out. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to wait until I've got my dodge and I've, I've got my melee. Now I can uh, dodge, use my dodge because I've got, uh, I think, Gambler's Dodge. I've got Gambler's Dodge on, which if I dodge close to an enemy, I get my melee back anyway. We want to make sure we've got our melee. So so uh, I didn't this time. I just I just went ahead and killed him anyway. So I'm going to dodge. Gives me my melee. Grenade, melee, uh, proc, radiance. And you can see here, I'm going to absolutely melt him because I procced uh, bait and switch. And there you go. There's there's the triumph incandescent, which is to complete uh, high end activities when you've got a full set of candescent armor on. This was my third one, uh, and, and that's the run. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed the run. Sorry it's been so long between uploads. It, hopefully this is it started again now that my throat is a bit better. Take it easy. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying Solstice of Heroes, and I will see you guys in the next video.